Hi, Eric Lenask here in uh, San Jose, California. We're at WebRTC Conference and Expo 5, and with me today is Luis Lopez from an open source project called Corento. Luis, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Hello. Thank you very much. Start us off. Tell me about this project, Corento. Hmm. Okay, yes. Corento is an open source software project uh, basically devoted to the creation of a media server, an advanced media server. As you probably know, media servers are infrastructures, web artist infrastructures capable of providing capabilities such as, for example, transcoding, recording, grid communications. We started with that vision, but uh, after some time in our project, we said if we have the media into the media server, we can do a lot of additional things with the media. In addition to recording it, in addition to making group communications, we can incorporate technologies coming from the content industry, such as, for example, computer vision, augmented reality, blending, mixing, and we can somehow use all these technologies for enriching the communication so that in currently, if you take a look to most media servers, they provide basically transport capabilities. Our media server is capable of adding things on top of the media. So we, we are not only transporting, we are also enriching, we are transforming, we are providing as I said you before, capabilities related to the content industry and not only to the telco industry, which is basically what most people is doing right now with WebRTC. So what kind of implementations, what's, who is your target audience? Our target audience are basically developers. Our media server exposes an API, and using this API, developers can create applications involving real-time communication, but also involving this type of advanced media capabilities. So for example, if you are a developer and you want to create an application requiring detecting faces, for example, because it is interesting for your application, because your application has is related to security, for example, or something like that, then using Currento, you can incorporate that type of capabilities uh, using computer vision or using augmented reality in a very simple way, and you can create your applications from the browser or from application servers such as Node or Java a, 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 a content a, a containers, I mean. Uh, so basically, answering to your question, our target audience are developers. So we have created something which is useful for developers for creating applications on top of it. What is the current status of the project? Is it, is it live? Is it available? <clears throat> yeah. This project is the result of several research projects funded by the European Commission. So right now we are in starting our second year. We have created a media server which is capable of providing all these capabilities. And right now we are working on the cloudification of this media server. So a developer is capable right now of getting the media server, of installing the media server into their very own computer and on using their, our APIs for creating applications on top of it. But on next year, we will have this infrastructure exposed following a platform as a service model into clouds, into all types of clouds compatible with OpenStack, basically. And the cloud as a delivery model is, is simply is, is really going to be a mechanism for you to uh, expand your reach to developers everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, <clears throat> our target audience are developers. Everything we do is open source software. So developers will be able to take our cloud infrastructure and to install this cloud infrastructure into any provider compatible with OpenStack. So we will not be providing the service ourselves. We'll be providing the software, and developers will be able to install the software into the facilities they want, this idea. Where can people go to find out more information or to download it? Yeah, very simply. Just go to curento.org, curento.org, and you can find over there all the documentation for installing, for using, and for getting all the software. Excellent. Luis, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for being here at the show this week. Okay. Thank you very much to you for inviting me.